What are the non-academic prerequisites for a successful dental school mm -hmm. application? Well, as you might imagine, having some dental experience is very helpful. And there are different levels of dental experience. I think of shadowing as maybe the lowest level. It's still very good to do, but it can be rather passive. You hang out in the office, you watch. If the dentist who's helping you is being very supportive, they'll ask you questions, put you on the spot, make you think about things as if you were a dentist. But they could just let you watch and not say a word. So shadowing is one level. Then becoming a dental assistant is a much better level because you set up trays and you break down trays. You now in the COVID era, you sterilize rooms, you sterilize equipment. In many cases, you'll talk to patients, get them seated in, in the dental room with the, with the chair. And so being a dental assistant is, is really good. And you can become a dental assistant through training with a dentist and then taking an exam, or you can actually take dental assisting courses. So that's a, another level. You can also get hired in a dental office. Uh, of course, dental assistants are usually hired, but you can get hired at even a higher level where you do what's called front office and back office work. So the front office, you see patients, you can do insurance work, you can do scheduling. Back office, you do the things that I already described. So being um, a dental assistant or a dental helper in a dental office is fantastic. 